The space tech startup Pearsight has unveiled its maiden satellite Varuna, which will deliver 24-7 all-weather maritime surveillance. Varuna will fly from ISRO's PSLV launcher as a secondary payload aboard the PSLV orbital experiment platform. Now, on that note, let me invite both the co-founders of Pearsight, Gaurav Seth, the CEO of the company, as well as Vineet Bansal, its chief technology officer. Gaurav, Vineet, welcome to Startup Street, and many thanks for your time here. Gaurav, start by telling us about why Varuna, why you chose to build this, and the tech that you're using for this all-weather maritime surveillance, no matter the weather conditions. Right. So Varuna is an in-orbit demonstrator of synthetic aperture radar, or SAR. SAR is a technology which can see through clouds and image at night. So we are using the POEM platform of ISRO to demonstrate indigenously developed subsystems for our SAR, which are the deployable antenna as well as complete electronics and mechanical and thermal systems. All right. Uh, well, Vineet, you know, what's really remarkable is that Pearsight has built Varuna in just nine months. How did you manage costs and timelines and risks to achieve this in an industry where, you know, uh, 18 to 24 months is the norm? Yeah, I think uh, our strong, uh, strong domain expertise in building satellites, uh, I mean, both me and Gaurav come from the background of building satellites, really helped us put together, again, a very strong team who could build this in a very short span of time. And, and I think the other thing which helped was a hard deadline from ISRO, that if we don't finish this by this deadline, we will be uh, losing our slot. And lastly, uh, we have a very strong push towards indigenization. And since we were indigenizing everything, uh, we could bring this in a very low cost uh, as well as manage the timelines very effectively. Well, this was deadline, definitely an incentive to build this faster. But Gaurav, what about monetization plans for your satellite technologies, the constellation? What industries or governments have shown most interest in Varuna's capabilities so far? So PSI was the winner of Indesex uh, Prize, which was with the Indian Coast Guard as well as the U.S. Coast Guard. And uh, with respect to government agencies, agencies like Department of Trade, Fisheries, Maritime Companies, Insurance Companies, as well as hedge funds will be benefited from our technology. We'll be able to image all parts of oceans at all times once our constellation is complete. All right. And Vinita, what about the timeline and strategy for scaling for Varuna from, you know, a full-fledged to a rather a full-fledged satellite constellation? And how do you, how will you ensure that there is rapid development for future satellites as well, with or without the ISRO deadline? <laughs> yeah, we plan to, uh, I mean, fully launch our constellation and operationalize that by 2028 uh, with first launch being planned for next year, full commercial launch being planned for next year, followed by regular launches uh, year on year till 2028. We have also launched an early access program on our website to understand customers' interests. While first few satellites will go into an orbit which supports Indian customers, we want to get the global interest to see in which orbital planes we should put our satellites, future satellites, so that they are most uh, usable uh, by the customers. And with respect to technology, uh, this Varuna mission will ensure uh, or will help us prove the flightworthiness of majority subsystems. And we plan to use the same subsystems for our future satellites, uh, making them future proof, scalable and modular. All right, uh, Gaurav, you know, as Varuna prepares to launch aboard ISRO's PSLV, how has their infrastructure supported your mission? If you could elaborate on that and if you see further yeah. partnerships with India Space Agency. Yeah. So, you know, in order to build a satellite uh, before launching, you need to subject it to various environmental tests like mm. vibration shakers as well as, you know, thermo vacuum tests. So for a private company to build this infrastructure, uh, you know, it would not be possible within nine months. So we've used uh, InSpace's technical center here in Ahmedabad for all of the testing as well as uh, development in dedicated clean rooms. And uh, this has ensured that, you know, we could adhere to such strict timelines of nine months from start to end. As well as in future, we, you know, plan to collaborate with ISRO for uh, future launches of our constellation, as well as also we are keen on taking several technologies from ISRO, which they are offering to private companies. Well, Gaurav, we're going to keep a close eye on those launches and partnerships. But before we let you both go, Vineet, uh, you know, India is emerging as a half for space startups. What do you think is going to set Pearsight apart and how are you leveraging India's growing ecosystem to scale globally as well in future? 
Yeah, so uh, as I mentioned, uh, I mean, we have a very strong expertise in the team in building satellites. So our strong domain expertise mm. uh, helps us, uh, sets us apart. The other thing which sets us apart is, again, the strong focus towards indigenization, building the technology in India at a very low cost and very rapidly. So we will be able to service global customers very rapidly by launching these satellites very quickly. Right. Uh, lastly, talking about the Indian ecosystem, ISRO has put India on the world stage, I mean, of being the one of the most reliable space organizations, which led to a setup of a strong space ecosystem in the country. Uh, we have uh, almost all suppliers available in the country for our satellite. More than 70% of the satellite is indigenized and are, is being uh, done with suppliers from India. And we have also got a strong talent, uh, which came out from ISRO and DRDO, which is uh, I mean, helping us leverage the ecosystem to deliver these satellites quickly. All right. On that note, Gaurav and Vineet, many thanks for your time here on CNBC TV 18. And we look forward to these launches and we wish you all the very best with your space ventures. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ritu.